High Discharge Pressure Cutout, or High Pressure Cutout as we've chosen to call it, is a safety device that must be installed on each compressor in an ammonia refrigeration system. Hi, I'm Peter Thomas, President and Senior Engineer at Resource Compliance. The purpose of a high pressure cutout is to prevent overpressurization in an ammonia refrigeration system. Should the discharge pressure in a compressor exceed the acceptable limit, the high pressure cutout will de-energize the machine, reducing the likelihood of a relief valve lifting or an equipment rupture. The International Institute of Ammonia Refrigeration, IIAR, requires that high pressure cutouts be included in any new system design per standard two. Additionally, high pressure cutouts are included as a minimum system safety requirement for existing compressors, regardless of age, in the first edition of IIAR Standard 9, which was published in 2020. Typically, high pressure cutouts on reciprocating compressors utilize electromechanical switches, while screw compressors often employ pressure transducers. As with any safety device, it is important that high pressure cutouts be periodically tested for proper operation. IIAR Standard 6 requires that high pressure cutouts be tested at least annually. It should be emphasized that only qualified persons are allowed to test a high pressure cutout. IIAR Standard 6 describes multiple approved test methods one of which allows the cutout set point to be reduced to within the compressor's normal discharge pressure range. Keep in mind that to use this method, one must first verify that the pressure transducer reading is accurate. This can be achieved by installing a trusted gauge to ensure both the gauge and the transducer read substantially the same pressure. IIAR Standard 6 recommends that the transducer be verified at two pressures that are 10% or more apart. A successful test will de-energize the compressor so it is important that trained personnel be available to restart the equipment after completing the test. Before testing a high pressure cutout, make sure to notify facility management that the test will be taking place. Once approved, verify that the high pressure cutout set point does not exceed 90% of the compressor relief valve set pressure. For example, if the relief valve set pressure is 250 PSI, the cutout set point must be less than or equal to 225 PSI. Using the set point reduction method requires changing the set point to within the compressor's normal discharge pressure range. Once the set point has been adjusted, the compressor will de-energize, thus concluding the test. After completing the test, the alarms can be cleared and the compressor restarted. As with all tests, it is important to document the results as necessary to demonstrate what took place. Visit our website, resourcecompliance.com, for more compliance and mechanical integrity related content.